Vibration and we are live. Hello everyone. Long time no see, right? Can you guys see us and hear us? Shari, can you say hi to the audience? Hi, hi everyone. Yeah, this was to check that audio as well. Cool, cool. We already have like a lot of replies going on. Uh, let's just check how many people have tuned in right now. And 116. This is like highest, I guess, till now. But yeah, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. And good morning. Good morning. Hi, Mangesh. Hi. Hi, Aditya. Hi, Shweta. Hi, Ranjit. Also, drop your countries, right? Where you are. Uh, coming and joining in from that would be interesting uh, okay so Alberto says I would love Hussein with a Mexican hat okay <laughs> oh regarding the new music right so today uh, interesting story like Sharik will remember we were recording the Dubai training and the storage was still full of our computers and I started deleting stuff so I deleted all the assets of OBS so today I open OBS 30 minutes before Music is gone. Images are gone. I ran into Figma, generated the assets again. I ran into oh. YouTube, picked the nice music. So I was playing my music line by line and my brother was sitting there. And in one of the music, he started humming along. And that's what I picked for the background music. But an interesting story. So that's where the music came from. Uh, so don't go in the attribute. I haven't updated the music attribute down below. So you can ignore. Ha. So yeah. So Minte says, "Wow, I thought we were going to have an April Fool joke." <laughs> yeah, it's not, not a joke. So <laughs> we can still do that. We can still do that. Yeah, go check out Frappe newsletter. That has some serious uh, allegations with proof. <laughs> uh, someone from the team can share it in the chat. Cool. Hi, Seju. Uh, awesome. Hi from Mauritius. Hi, Varuna. Uh, Prospera Systems is joining from Egypt. Awesome. Uh, then we have Balkem, Algeria. Awesome. There is Echo. Uh, let me just check if there is something wrong. Anybody else facing Echo? Because coming live from South Africa. This is Salim, by the way. I uh, no, no, this Gaurav, uh, Gaurang Bhatt says, even I thought it was April Fool jokes. Not, not, not at all. <laughs> this one's not. We, we, we picked up a very interesting date. So you can think of it not as April Fool, but as like the start of a new financial year. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Then let's start. Uh, so welcome to the show, Sharik. Uh, so those who are new to Build with Hussain, I am Hussain Nagariya. And today we have on the show Shari Kansari. He is the product owner of Frappe CRM, which is the newest product of our Labs initiative. And this is the 101 video, so start of the second century, Sharik. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Uh, so Mehdi has asked, hey, can you please tell me what this actually framework is in two lines? Maybe uh, someone from the team, either Ritwik or can. Keep the audience engaged in the chat. Meanwhile, we start. Cool. Hi, Vivek from Mumbai. Awesome. Hi, Chirag. Hi, Romanos. Good to see you back here from Indonesia. Awesome. People from all over the world to sum it up. But yeah, let's start. Uh, so yeah, Tarik. The question of the hour. Why, what, how <laughs> about the CRM? Yeah, let's start with why. Why? So here is like a lot of people would ask, there is already a CRM module in ERPNX, then why this CRM, right? The FAQ. Uh, why this CRM? So, uh, why a new CRM? This is a new one, right? Yeah. So you might have seen that we, uh, uh, last last year, I think in our paper, that we started breaking the monolith, right? 
we are removing uh, modules from the next and creating a separate app out of it. So it was w- one of the reason because CRM is something where uh, an agent or a user, a salesperson should be able to only concentrate on the deals and leads that they are working on. But as you know, ERP next, it is very, the UI, everything is very similar. If you go to any doc type, uh, it is very easy to distract. And there are many other cons. One of the reason was that to make a separate app with a very crafted UI so that everything should be at one place and uh, it will be easier for the sales person to work on the leads to close it faster. So that was one of the main reasons to remove. It is not yet removed from the CRM module, uh, from ERP next, the CRM module, but later, mm-hmm. maybe in version 16, we can remove remove the CRM module from ERP next. And, and by the way, since uh, CRM, uh, the software CRM is also open source, so you can always integrate with ERP next. So there's not a problem there. Yep. Uh, yeah, that is the reason. Yeah, it's still built on Frappe framework. So yeah, go write a server script, add a custom field. <laughs> That's still there. Uh, cool. So thanks for answering that, Sharik. So we have still people joining in. So Menrad says voice is very low. Maybe check um, your audio levels because the rest seems okay on my side as well. It's two decibels. Okay. Too technical, but fine. <laughs> so yeah, let's start. Um, so before I ask you the next question, I want to show the audience my screen. Uh, so <laughs> I will switch to my screen share. <laughs> and let's transition. And what you see on screen uh, is the repository named dead CRM. This is not a public repository. <laughs> this is a private repository. So if you see who are the contributors, this is like one of the guys you might know. And then there is Komal. And okay. So before build with Usain and before chain makers, I guess, uh, I started working on Frappe CRM. Uh, two days, I guess I worked on it actively and then passively sometime. Um, But yeah, this is how it looked (laughs) and this was the readme, right? And yeah, I I left it (laughs) to die. That's why it's not dead CRM. But yeah, I think it got to the right hands, right? And finally it got built. It has been dumped two twice, not once, (laughs) twice. But yeah, now it is in the right hands and I'm excited from here. Sarik, you can tell how you picked this up after this dead thing. So I will uh, cut to your screen share. Okay. okay. You can minimize that. There's nothing to show, but uh, I can show the... Yeah, you, so how yeah, I pick... Uh, or... <laughs> yeah, yeah, how yeah, I pick the Frappe CRM. So there's not... So I used to work in player framework before this. Right? So I have I have many I've worked on many features with Vue and before JavaScript. So I was always wanted to work on something of my own, a uh, new product because everyone was building new products like game plan, insights, drive, help desk, etc. So there was this idea, I always wanted to work on something, but I was not getting anything, uh, a nice product to work on. Uh, CRM, obviously you were working on it uh, partially, I guess. Uh, but then uh, there was an idea, we had a discussion, Rishabh, Paris, Suraj, and me, that we should revamp our UI, the desk UI. So that idea, uh, so it was one of the things that I, w- I also wanted to work on to create a different UI using Frappe UI. But Frappe UI was not uh, not yet up to that level 
the components and all. There are enough components, but not uh, enough to make a complete UI uh, uh, to revamp our desk. So from there, uh, the idea was to first make the Frappe UI better, to have all the components necessary so mm -hmm. that it will be very easy uh, to transition and create a separate UI for our Frappe, uh, Frappe desk. Mm -hmm. so that, then the uh, idea came that let's, so CRM is something where if you will see uh, the UI and everything, the list view and forms and tabs, etc. Those all those components uh, are needed in CRM, and those all components are also needed in Desk. So there was very common use case, and that was one of the reason I took CRM. Then I also worked on Microsoft Dynamics CRM in my previous company. Mm -hmm. So I have some knowledge about CRM, so that mm -hmm. was also one more reason uh, because of that. I That's why I said this right. Project yeah. fell on the right hands. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that was the reason. There's not, there's no exciting story, but yeah, that is. <laughs> uh, that's good enough. I guess. Cool. So yeah, from dead to reborn. What do we call it? But yeah. So yeah, uh, meanwhile, yeah. Okay. So yeah, where do we start? So I think What's we can plan? start with the, with the website. Yeah, let's start. So now you can see the website on sapte.io slash product slash So, okay. You can check out the website and you can also check out the docs. I'll drop a link in the chat. Yeah. And while we are here, we can say that again, website built on Frappe Builder. <laughs> Obviously. So I think you can go through that and we can start the release process, I guess. Yeah, let's and start with the yeah, then we can check out the demo. Cool. Makes so I've sense. already uh, created this, uh, so I've updated some readme uh, mm -hmm. and obviously the version changed. I will just push this to the main. Cool. Then version yeah. control stuff happening. Till then I will look at the chat. Uh, cool. I guess we can check on GitHub now. Nice. Yeah. There is a pull Smart. request. Cool. So I also have a release ready. Mm -hmm. it, release. Uh, it is in draft yet now. So mm -hmm. you can see this. Can you give a brief? Some... So mm -hmm. Yes, uh, this uh, it has some key features like views. I will go in mm -hmm. depth about this in the demo. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, basic features that is needed in the CRM app. Mm -hmm. This is the main screen that uh, uh, deal screen, which is the main screen of uh, CRM. Uh, here, uh, the sales user mostly work on this screen. So everything for uh, what the customer is here on this page. Nice. Cool. So yeah, so, let's let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. I think everything is the uh, main branch version. Let's push to release. Ta da! Okay. There is confetti. <laughs> yeah. Are you nice. Cool. <laughs> yeah, cool. you can't see it, but yeah. <laughs> I can see, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So now this is released on GitHub. And one more thing. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, one more thing you were saying sometimes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. 
the second part yeah, of the release. Second part that is uh, hosting on the market list. Marketplace. So let me change it to publish now. Okay. Uh, yeah. I can use this. Will this do anything? Okay. Okay, let's send the other one. Anyway, uh, it should be published. And let's cool. see in marketplace. Cool. So it is awesome. there in marketplace now. Okay, 53 Dang. installs. Confident. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe the CRM app was the older one, probably. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. or maybe the private uh, mm -hmm. bank um, awesome. yeah yeah so, so confetti so is also here. coming from the chat so for each confetti uh, emoji I am doing confetti <laughs> <laughs> so if you want yeah. to see confetti drop the confetti yeah <laughs> this is Ritwix yeah. <laughs> cool so yeah, so now next, it is live on Marketplace. It is yeah. the GitHub release is created. What's next? Let's push it in the public branches. Now I'll push in version 15 and nightly for now. Later, I can do it in version 14 also after doing some mm -hmm. test. I've not yet tested in version 14. So there is, cool. It should work, but yeah, I, I just have to test. Okay. Yeah, there was a question, cool. exactly this question. Yeah, yeah, I know Jay most Maj. people need inversion mm -hmm. 14. Cool, let's add, let's add the app. It should be visible. Cool, let's see here. Main branch, so this is version 15. Main branch added. Okay, I have to go down. So it is added. Nice. Uh, we'll start the deploy for this. Will I do it for everything? Or just... Yeah, do everything probably. Box. Yeah, skip, skip, Wait. skip. Can I see the version there? I have not seen the version. Uh, okay, yeah, probably yes. the release, the tag. Yeah, this version is not here. Uh -huh. Check the main oh. branch if it is correct. It is the main oh. branch. The main branch in your uh, visit repo, click visit repo and try. So, this is the repo. Yeah, it is released. Check main branch. Main branch. Yeah, it is released here. Ah. Hmm. Uh, uh, the tag okay. is also here. Click on the tag. Okay. Maybe we can see. It will take uh, it. Check the commit. Click on the commit. Commit. Uh, the commit part. Yeah. Yeah. So it will, if you refresh, it should come. Like. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Press latest update, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and click on deploy. Okay, my camera went off. Yeah, yeah, it, nice. it came. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Your camera is off? Yeah, I will have to switch to my Mac camera. I don't okay. know why, but yeah, let me switch to my Mac camera that kind of is not that good. So I'll just uh, update the bench then. And I'll skip the sites. So by the way, for the context to the audience, this means now if you like once this deploy is finished, when you can, when you create a new site on Traffic Cloud, you will see this as an option in version 15 and nightly. As Sharik said, he will test and also make it available on V14. So yeah, um, that's that. Okay. I think I don't have access to, okay, I will have to switch to the team. Awesome. 
Cool. So this time yeah. on version 15, I do the same thing for nightly. I'll add the app. I have the developed branch here. And this is the developed branch. I'll just activate this release. And this is the Okay. okay, I can only see one. Yeah. Uh, still, I'm not getting the. I think I will not get the version here, right? It is a developer. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. The tag is in main branch, so that's fine. Cool. You can deploy. Yeah, it is yeah. deployed this on is done. both the branches. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Nice. So yeah, in some time you should be able to create a new CRM. And yeah, even I think we have a sign up link where if so, I'm not wrong. Are we doing it? Uh, uh sign up link still need to be tested, but right now you can do it from marketplace by just adding it on your bench. Cool. That is awesome. I think the release part is done. Uh, yeah, no. so after this is done, I can add it in my private branch maybe, and we can... Yeah, yeah. this uh, is for public branches, so anyways, now anybody can start adding. Uh, so, Ruthwick says sign up, sign up should be live as well. Awesome. Can you share the link in the chat, Ruthwick, for CRM signups? Uh, probably won't be able to. Send me on TG, <laughs> because... Links are. I must not see Adam, maybe. Oh. Uh, can send me DG. Hi. Hey, send here. Nice. Should we so wait yeah, for we'll, this or... No, no, let's let it happen in the background. We can continue with the demo. Cool. Because so, there are a lot of apps, so it can take it some time. Yeah. So I already have a site uh, where all the demo data is already there. So uh, mm -hmm. we can do the demo here. So you can see all mm -hmm. the things and all the filters. So that, that's what I was saying. Filter, sort, all this part is uh, there already in the framework. And it has to be built here also. So this is a new UI that uh, probably in future we will switch it, switch our desk with this UI. So yeah, these are the some screens like contacts. You can check the details, edit the details, and organizations. Okay, I have some work. I'll be back in a minute. Cool. Um, so yeah, organization. So organize. It. So I can show you the lead. This is the first screen you will uh, land on. Leads are uh, the things that leads that you want, you want to, to capture, capture leads, leads and then. Okay. I think I am getting a call from someone. An unknown user. So let's pick it up. Cool. So. Hi, sir. Hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, hi, Jose. I think we have our first lead. Nice. So, yeah, you can make calls also. Uh, uh, you will see the call. Yeah, I'm be... back. I had to make a call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I have. We can see that call in our call log. Nice. nice. So we had this call. Uh, if we, we would have talked about uh, in in the call, we could have taken some notes also. But yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's. Uh, so 
I will uh, go go in a flow like let's make uh, a lead out of this call that we got and yep. let's close that lead. Uh, so in the process, we can cover all the features. Nice. Uh, probably everything. So so as you can see, this is some unknown user that we got a call from. We have some details. We can create a lead out of it right from here. As this is unknown. Uh, so let's create. So assuming that we know uh, and we talked about stuff in the call, we can we could have taken notes. It would have uh, came here. Uh, but yeah, we have this. Let's mm -hmm. maybe the same. Okay, let me move my camera from here so the audience can see that part. And I think it will be to send that form maybe. If yeah. you have that. <laughs> no, uh, blue dot dev. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, anyways, I'm not. Yeah. I, I get it for free, right? <laughs> yeah, you can fill up all the details you yeah. want to. Uh, maybe source. Uh, YouTube, of course. Yeah, <laughs> YouTube, right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, just, uh, so now we have uh, quite details about this. We can create some tasks also if we mm -hmm. want to maybe set up a call later. So we can create tasks like uh, like do the call. Maybe on uh, Friday. Nice. So let's make it to do on um, high priority and create that task. So we have some tasks, multiple tasks you can add here directly. You can mm -hmm. take notes if you have more data about this organization. So mostly mm -hmm. we are capturing two two kind of data: the organization data and the person uh, that we are in contact with. So this lead, if you see, this is only used to capture data. We are not creating any master from this lead. Uh, it is just capturing data. Uh, we can upload the image if we have. I don't think I have your image, but. Uh, yeah, you can maybe. grab from Frappe.io if you want to. Team. That's. Take some random photo for now. <laughs> Looks like ten, right? Looks <laughs> like how? How? <laughs> yeah, you beard have, and all. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. matches. That checks out. <laughs> so you can always uh, check out all this call logs in the call tab. All the call logs will be visible here. Mm -hmm. Since now we have the mobile number, you can also make calls directly mm -hmm. from here. Mm -hmm. so, it's mm -hmm. So this is Twilio, by the way. So right. your call was not working, I guess. Right. Yeah. Let so me now, you know, second call. Maybe I you're busy know. or something. I don't know. Do it not disturb. Not... Maybe do not. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. So I'll show in the camera yeah, yeah. if it is visible. Rape US, it shows like it shows reverse, but yeah, that's the. <laughs> You can pick the call if. Okay. What would you I see on this call? I picked it up. It. I will mute it. Uh, so I was talking about the notes, right? So while you are in the call, you can take notes. Right? Yeah. Notes from call. Some data. Live launch. Anything else. So it will be linked to this uh, call. So you can then also minimize it if you're working on something else like some other leads. And this is nice. This children. is like dynamic island, right? <laughs> yeah. Something like that on the right side. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can then work on it. And after closing the call, if you will see the call now have that note that it is linked with that call, right? So, yeah. Yep. 
we can do the uh, it is also linked with the lead so this is the lead so the call log is visible here the one that we made just now one minute ago right? nice we can, we can also the recording yeah you can listen to the recording nice so uh, we can disable the recording part also from the delay setting but yeah, we can right now it is enabled mm-hmm. uh, so there is a question if you want to take it uh, nikhil goel asks can we have an employee wise report of calls etc too so you can create your own custom report from here so this is the list view i have tried to make this very powerful to make reports uh, like you want to create your own custom report like suppose call from or uh, maybe from uh okay maybe like i think this is not wrong this is from uh, something else maybe you know the name maybe type incoming call right so you can add some status uh the sort part you can add your own columns so from is actually the number the name is this so okay, yeah you can add more columns like start time and whatever and you can uh filter based on your employee type that you were saying and create your own view this is the view feature and once you are happy with the view uh you can either export it or we uh, can save it we can just duplicate and we can make it it is an incoming call right? incoming calls so now the view is created it will be visible in the save view so if you are working on this kind of uh, view uh, more frequently you can also pin it mm-hmm. it will be visible in, in the sidebar so more frequently used views you can just pin it uh, so this view contains uh, filter sort and the column the combination of all these three so so if you are the system manager uh, a sales manager you can also make a particular view public mm-hmm. so these are some public views my leads and my deals these are visible to everyone uh, in the organization so yeah this two type of views you can create and other uh, for future use you can create more views also which will be visible in the uh, in this here so this is all right so if you want to maybe go to the and maybe one right let's create let's look at one deals so it will be visible in the saved view so in future maybe you can make it public or pin it so yeah you can create a number of uh, reports you can call it as a report i, I call it a view so yeah it's a reusable template of the list view uh, in okay. that sense right yeah 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 nice so, so So we were on the lead, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. We created a lead for myself. Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. So the same is here. Uh, so you can send emails. Mm-hmm. You can type your email here. You can select existing. Sorry, uh, for the last time it will add. You can add CC and. Maybe I have to see here. You can see that the next option. Uh, we can add I. Nice. Or maybe let's use email template. So oh. we can use email template also. So Jinja based email template. You mm-hmm. can create it from here. Mm-hmm. This is the email template. So you can create your own. We can see other uh, users have created their own email templates. You can, if you make it enabled, it will be visible in the 
Yeah. Yeah. So let's use that. And as you can see, since it is a Jinja based email template, the name came automatically. Mm -hmm. The organization also came automatically. So yeah, you can create your own personal email templates and use that. So if you don't want to write it down every time. So nice. Yeah, you can send nice. that. Will be so Himanshu Sivari says, uh, Oshan, you should not reveal mobile numbers during live. So that, I use an app called whatever what that app was to make the call. It's not a direct call, so don't worry about it. Yeah, and, and uh, Himanshu says, I hope all the contact details are dummy data. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. Then. yeah. Uh, so yeah, we just sent an email. Uh, we can check all the email communications here in the email tab. Calls mm -hmm. and call tab, tasks, notes. Yeah, you get the idea, right? So now we have worked on this lead quite a lot, and we think this is a qualified lead. So based on the status, you can change the status and make it qualified. You can also assign it to someone if you want to. So in the lead state, uh, I don't prefer to assign. Maybe mm -hmm. since it is qualified later, we can assign it to some other uh, other uh, agents. Mm -hmm. So now, since I have some data and uh, yeah, I have mostly organization and uh, person data. Now we can mm -hmm. convert this into a deal, which is deal is actually opportunity in CRM term. So, so if you will see while you're converting, now this organization data will be converted into an organization master and the person data will be converted into contact. Contact is the uh, framework's contact, contact. Mm -hmm. It is not separate. Organization is a separate, uh, it is not the company doc type. Yeah. So it is a separate, uh, uh, yeah. You can create, uh, choose existing organizations also. Uh, or contacts if you want, but yeah, let's create a user of user out of a contact out of this. It's not working. So now you can see the screen looks similar, right? This is deal. All these activities from the lead came to this deal, so that you will have an idea what happened in the deal uh, part. So yes, you can see Sharik changed the status from new to qualified and converted the lead to this deal. So now, as you can see in the contacts section, uh, the same contact is created. We have the detail uh, and the organization. It is a, now a link field. So, so this organization is created and you can check that organization here. We can add an image and all, all those things you can do mm -hmm. uh, add more details so maybe you are making and i don't know yeah. Yeah, it's a negative but fine <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. so the deal the link to deal is also visible here and the contact is also visible here uh, so you can easily navigate contact also you can navigate mm -hmm. and similarly you can add more contacts here, right? Maybe Robert Fox is part of that company. So mm -hmm. you can, so while you're making call, it will check which is the primary contact here. So right mm -hmm. now, saying it's the primary, if you will make a call, mm -hmm. it will make a call to this number. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the contact primary for robot. Yeah, internet is a little bit slow, but yeah. Uh, if the primary is changed. So now if you make a call, this number will be selected. So let's keep this as primary. Uh, yeah, so that's contacts and organization. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. So there is a question if you want to take. Yeah. Uh, Rehan asks how to manage sales stages in that. Okay. Sales stages is all the status. Uh, this is the stage that this uh, this deal is in the qualification stage 
uh, demo stage. You can add your own custom stage also. So this is a link field. So I can show you this tonight. So this is the workspace we'll land. Uh, so here we have the link for the portal and the some important masters like leads, deals, organization contact, SLA also, and assignment tool. So there are some meta uh, like lead status, deal status. So this is the statuses that we can see in the, let me open duplicate. And so this deal, you'll see this status, qualification, these are all here. You can add your own, uh, maybe uh, in progress. I don't have. Maybe I don't have, or maybe I don't have in progress, right? Yeah, and uh, so it will be visible, it should be visible here, yeah, in nice. progress. Is here. So you can add your own stages here, and based on that, you can work on it. Similarly, there are some more. You can check my lead status also, similar to that. Sources from where it came. So we selected YouTube, right? So we can add more. Uh, maybe I should have a call. So, so because we actually got that lead from call. So industries, territories, and communication status. This is used for SLA. So. Uh, let me check what it is. So status is open. I think we don't have a open status, right? A qualification, right? We should make it a qualification. So, so this is the SLA thing. So, so based on this condition, SLA will be applied to that deal. So we saw there is no SLA right now here. Where is it? Uh, deal. Let me clear this. There is no SLA applied right now. Mm -hmm. So, because there is this condition, right? Status should be qualification. Mm -hmm. uh, working days, I think we are fine with that, 10 to 16. Yeah. So, it should just be applied if I uh, change the status to qualification. Okay, it is in qualification. But yeah, it was not. Because uh, I changed the status uh, from open to qualification now. So let me change something. Uh, maybe territory India. Yeah, so you can see the SLA got applied. Uh, it should not be filtered, but maybe I will have to check that. But yeah, so it was applied, and we can just reply, change the uh, to make it fulfilled. It should not be fulfilled. Maybe yeah, about... that's fine that's fine yeah. so this brings us to a point that okay this is very early uh yeah. this is not the final version of it is v1 day one and uh, so github repository right like open source that stuff <laughs> still yeah. applies 100 percent force uh open source <laughs> force what am i saying but yeah so you can go and raise issues if you face uh Go start using it uh, today. We are using it internally for quite some time now, right? Like month, more than a month. Yeah, yeah. We are but using yeah. yeah, do raise issues on GitHub if you find. So there might be bugs, but yeah, it's it will be taken care of. Cool. So yeah, I think I covered the SLA part, contact organization. So also we can assign so now it is the right time to assign it to some person maybe i will assign it to asif uh, now it is assigned to asif now he can so if there is a public view of my leads and asif asif will go to that public view he will be able to see the, this lead in there mm. so you can also change the deed owner to asif if you mm -hmm. want to but uh, yeah it's up to you so let me change that also. Mm -hmm. Now he is the deal owner for this. Deal. So now you can see, you cannot remove Asif from this because he is the deal owner. Okay. So yeah, I can remove myself. 
I'm no longer part of this team. Now he will work on it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we saw the reply, the email part. We can also uh, add some comments and mm-hmm. mention assets like please. Yeah, yeah, these are like internal communication, right? Within the yeah. company. Yeah. Correct. We, uh, we can just ask him to check on it just in case if you want to. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, if he will, if he will log in, he will also see notification like this. Like someone mentioned you in this deal and you can directly go to that from here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, notification is for that. Uh, can we add attachment here? Asks Rehan. In comments right now, we don't have that. Uh, I think we have. Yeah, but I think it, I don't know if it works. But for email, yes, you can. You can mm-hmm. add attachments. Maybe in comment if, if it shows, it should add. Maybe you can check what what does yeah, it check. I, I don't remember adding that, but let me check. Okay, it is fine. Uh, but if it gets attached. Submit. Or not, <laughs> Sometimes no, it stuff works magically. Yeah. yeah. That's why you're hesitant not... because yeah. it's just on the UI yeah. side of things. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. yeah. Create a so feature that, request, Rehan, and I think. Re- reusability. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I was, with this, I can tell that. In reply, we are using the same mm-hmm. uh, text editor with all this. Uh, shortcuts and we're using the same thing for comment mm-hmm. and i missed removing this <laughs> so, <laughs> that's fine so, yeah so maybe maybe i will not remove it i will make it working mm-hmm. yeah yeah that makes sense now since we have the feature request <laughs> yeah cool so yeah, that is that right. you can do all the quick access from here directly instead of going in all the tabs and doing it mm-hmm. uh yeah also, you can do it from here. This is a quick action panel with all the important details. You can call, make emails. It will just open that. Uh, and you can visit the website. If we have a website here, uh, right now we don't. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then now you can change the status and uh, either make it lost or one. Maybe I want this late. And, uh, Nice. So now I think the deal is closed. So now the question comes, what next? Right? Uh, now this is the CRM part is done. So this is the whole flow for CRM. Uh, so we saw all these things, uh, lead, deal, contact, organization, notes. We can see all the notes here, uh, tasks. We can see all your tasks here. Uh, but what after this, after converting? Now, People want to do something else after this, right? Now comes the customization part. Mm. Now you can add your custom actions on the screen so that you can link this thing with something else like ERP Next or HR or something else, whatever a custom app you have. So we can do that by adding custom actions, which will be visible here on this part. Uh, to capture more details, for the sleeve. So these are some uh, by default uh, uh, fields available in the deal of type. So you can add your own custom fields, which will be visible here. Uh, so I'll just show you how to do that. So first, let me show the custom action part. Uh, you, so I have this of type for form script. You can create similar to client script. Now we have a so client script work on the desk form, but uh, for a new UI, we should have some script, right? So I created a form script. You can. So is there a documentation for this? If so, right now uh, there is not, but I will work on. I will work on it maybe mm-hmm. in in this week. I will push that. So till then, I've shared the documentation we have right now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so so I will just go through what this does is. So finally, we send uh, actions. So this is the custom action thing. 
So whenever you will create a new, you will get this uh, boilerplate. You can add your actions. So I'll just show you this. So here uh, you have, you can see there are two actions. Go to partner lead. This is very custom action. If you want to go to some other uh, lead from in another uh, site. So this is SAP IO site. Uh, and you have a uh, data here, uh, suppose the name of that partner lead here, and you want to go to that uh, in the separate site. So I've added this, go to partner lead. This will not work because obviously there is no data, but uh, yeah. So you can add one more thing like desk, go to open in desk, the same lead a uh, deed in the desk view. So, and let's check if this works and how it looks. So if I will enable it, now you can see those two actions. So yes. now you can see there are two things. Right? This is drop down and this is uh, direct action button. So you can see I've added the desk, uh, open in desk inside a group, right? And I've added the hidden as well too. So that's why it was inside this drop down mm -hmm. yeah but this button is directly inside the app i've directly pushed this inside that nice. so that's why it is available here directly so mm -hmm. this should work open indeed should work okay maybe is it frappe.io maybe... or frappe.cloud i think that's the issue oh no the frappe this is uh... okay so, oh, <laughs> got it nice you <laughs> Uh, this is not Frappe.io. <laughs> Probably I just edited <laughs> something from uh, our own from... installation. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's correct. You let me do that. Yeah, it yep, works. Now it works. So, <laughs> quickly navigating from your new UI also is possible from this custom actions now. Mm -hmm. You can add your own actions like create a sales invoice or open yes, sales invoice and quotation and whatever so mm -hmm. from here only directly so there is a question i think this is case in point so vishal rocks asks can we create a sales order in erp next from closed deal so yeah you can then you'll have to link those two with some uh, custom fields mm -hmm. you can add that custom field the sales uh, invoice here or yeah, it's uh, up to your use case. Yeah, let's but, add a custom field maybe if you. Yeah, have... let's have uh, yeah. Let's mm -hmm. have a custom field now. So, so you know about customized form, right? So, we use customized form to add custom fields uh, mm -hmm. inside your standard desk doc types. Form. Yeah, standard doc type form. So, I'm using the same uh, customized form to add custom fields here directly. Uh, I have not created a new thing for that. Reusing our framework. So right now, if you will see there is organization, there is, you can see those tabs on contact tab, organization, partner, there is partner, but I cannot see that here, right? So this partner tab, you will see I made it read only. And because of this, it is not visible. So let's make it, uh, yeah, remove that. Now, as you will see. Yeah, so the CRM is, is leveraging frameworks, yeah. customized form, and then cool. <laughs> so now you can see that section is visible here. Mm. Just by, uh, so you can add your own sections by mm. adding tabs. Tabs. That's yeah. a good You mapping. can add more. Yeah, you can add more fields. You can rearrange. Now I will make contact in middle partner first. Let me update. It will be rearranged based on that. Yeah, there was a question, I guess. How is it loading this fast? I think. You can see. Where was it? Uh, Who asked that? Uh, there were so many questions. I lost it. <laughs> It's fine, you can continue. Yeah. So now you can see the partner is first, contact is in middle, and organization is last. So 
we did that those changes and it reflects here uh, we can add custom field okay it's very slow but uh, we can add custom fields maybe data page and move it below this so it should be visible below organization so you can see it works yep so that's how you can add custom fields uh, in your deal or lead page you can do it in the lead page also so right cool. now i've only done that for lead and deal page later i will do that for contact and organization also right now contact does not have the, those custom adding custom fields here but yeah i will add that later uh cool so i think that those are customizations that you can do mm -hmm. uh one more thing you can uh do is from this you can add your uh, bulk bulk edit so well, I've not yet figured out where should I keep this, but yeah, you can add your bulk actions. It is bulk actions here. So just by adding a bulk action button similar to this, mm -hmm. uh, if you do this, it will be visible in the deals list view if you select. Right now I have this are default edit and delete, but you will see that bulk action here. I don't have an example for that. Maybe I can pick it from here. No, 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 not a good idea, probably. Okay, slash app is fine. Yeah. <laughs> not <Otherwise>, many, yeah. <laughs> don't open CRM at least. Uh, it is, I think, CRM form script, right? Oh, for CRM form script. Yep. Anyway. So, then. Yeah, you can see bulk actions. Let's copy this and add it here. It will probably not work because yeah, it is done for the that site, but yeah, it should be visible at least. Should have been there. Yeah, you can see that custom action is here. So, so yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we heard all of that. But... Yeah, you heard oh, all of yeah. that. That's fine. <laughs> Audience fine. didn't. Yeah, yeah, I had to take an urgent call, but yeah. So, right. So, so we have the bulk action also. So right mm -hmm. now we have this three kind of uh, customization that we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but we are not limited to this. This we have framework. Uh, we can always write our own server scripts to handle all those things that you want to, uh, your custom requirements, mm -hmm. like uh, on change of some field, if you want to do something. So it will work. This yeah, is... on, on closing, creating a sales order. That is all through server scripts. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, not yeah. new. Can... So yeah, CRM is still built on top of Frappe framework. So Frappe framework. those all features are still there. So a lot of questions that directly answers that. Yeah. So maybe this question you can take. Do we have the standard repos which we had in ERPNX CRM without installing ERPNX app? Uh, standard um, means the uh, modules that were in CRM module that the reports, I guess, that came along with the. Okay, no, no. no. So hmm. this CRM, like CRM is separate. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not moving uh, the CRM module from. Yeah, next to a, a separate app. I've created this Frappe CRM from scratch. This is very separate app. So 
there is plan to write some migration uh, migrators for to migrate from the uh, yeah, CRM to Fapa CRM, mm -hmm. but uh, there is uh, there is no reports from I've not moved uh, anything from the CRM model. This is completely new. If you need something and it is very generic, then I will I'll probably add that in this. So right now we don't have any reports uh, feature on this UI, uh, but mm -hmm. since it is framework, you can always use desk for that. But later, I will add that somewhere mm -hmm. here. Yeah, even for dashboards, etc. I think insights is the way to go. Yeah, the plan is like that only. So you can create your very customized uh, reports uh, and charts from insight, and you can just come here and add those here to show yeah that integration that makes yeah. sense mm. about integrations right now we only have the call integration that is at twilio uh, but i have plans to work on the whatsapp integration and many more in future yeah. right now we only have twilio yeah this is just the first only so bear with me it will take some time to... yeah yeah and uh, since you have mentioned it do join the telegram group i have linked it in the description uh, yeah. there you can have chat with other community members who are trying out crm uh, you can like post your thoughts on some features share your experience maybe how is it going what can be improved and yeah sharik i and your four team members are also there. And the group. Uh, also, if you have any feature requests or uh, mm -hmm. bugs, so just report it on GitHub. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll share the GitHub link uh, yeah. as well. I already have this, but yeah. Yeah, I think I added in the description as well, but yeah, again, I will share in the chat. Yeah, cool. cool. Uh, I think I've covered the mm -hmm. thing right here. Yeah. You can also resize. This is not there in desk. Yeah, this is not there in desk. <laughs> <laughs> Some features that you can... Mm -hmm. So this is the power of view. It was easy mm -hmm. to build this feature with view. Mm -hmm. The framework. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, so what, what, what tech stack, right? So this UI that we are looking at is mm -hmm. completely built on Vue, Vue.js, Vue mm -hmm. and the design system that we have is Espresso design system. And to use that and in incorporate with the Vue, we are using Frappe UI. So FrappeUI.com, you can go and check. So this is our component library. All those things that you're seeing, the avatar, the buttons, everything uh, is from here. So you can see the code. This is, I, I just come here, copy this code and add it in to yeah, add those buttons, yeah. So while building, so I, as I said, the idea was to build CRM and add uh, components in Swapi UI so that we can uh, uh, switch to a new desk UI. So while doing that, I built this list view component mm -hmm. and this tab view component. These two components have contributed in Rappi UI. You can see it here, tab. This is the tab yeah. component and this is the list view component. Yeah. yeah, so this is contributed by me. So I've been thinking quite like for the last few days to so i have done two live streams on trap ui but i don't think they are enough or comprehensive or yeah. easy to follow along so i want to do a course on frappe ui maybe covering all of the essential components and building a natural app so do let me know in the comments or uh, anywhere in youtube just find me and ping me that okay we want the course so i know that okay there is some traction <laughs> Cool, and then I'll do it. Awesome. Uh, I think I've covered everything. What I could have covered. Yeah, looks looks 
great to start and maybe let's start with the questions now yeah okay we have a lot of questions so <clears throat> uh you can pop out the chat window by the way uh click on the three dots next to the huh, and pop out chat yeah this will be yeah. helpful so yeah, either ways i can read it up for you so you don't have to mm-hmm. so i'll start maybe you can show it in the crm as itself so okay so one question i think uh, i find it twice whether this can be installed along with erp next yeah yeah you can install it with erp next. yeah there is no uh, flashing or you can say it it was there was one doc okay. type which was causing a problem so i renamed that doc type doc type so it now it works nice uh, himanshu said badai ho new crm hua hai okay <laughs> that should be a meme <laughs> okay uh cool it is not yeah. mobile ready yet but i will uh do that maybe yeah there were a few questions regarding uh, does it has a mobile version for fleet management uh mm-hmm. no fleet management and all yeah that all comes under the customization realm so the crm part or the back end is still the same you can write a hmm. small mobile app if you want to for just for fleet management so nitin asks okay i have answered this and romi says is the new crm designed for native apps or pws not yet but mm-hmm. i think we will need a pws mm-hmm. for this so uh, right now i will focus on the um, important features mm-hmm. uh, which are missing and then later i can work on the mobile app so what what are we looking at here in terms of okay i won't say the word or should i road map which we don't have i uh, know <laughs> so, <laughs> there is no we road map right road map no, no. <laughs> we don't so, do road maps that's cool <laughs> so yeah, any any priority features that you are working on right now or you plan to work on in the near future so whatsapp is one one of it so pr is already open Mm-hmm. Uh, nice this is for uh, this requires separate confetti so <laughs> yeah you can integrate your business or whatsapp account with crm yeah. mm-hmm. so other than that i can work mm-hmm. there are i'm also working on some some other things you can see you have seen the demo everything looks smooth right but it it is i still have some things that i want way better so mm-hmm. some small refactors are also in play. i will work on those also so it will i want to make this better uh, in terms of experience so i will not jump on uh, all the features at mm-hmm. once mm-hmm. so yeah polish polish right yeah i will polish it before adding a new feature that's a good that's a good call yeah in the long run it will pay off so okay romi asks what is the expected release for pwa no uh, i don't think like that's on no. priority first polishing the desk interface like uh, the desktop version of it is the priority and yeah. then maybe later yeah so okay the other question okay maybe we can show this uh, we get leads from our website how can an employee pick the unassigned leads so okay you covered the part where uh, once the deal is in from the call right uh, we can go yeah. over the whole cycle but there are n number of ways a deal can come in right correct so how do i collect like can you tell so your I approach to going about it yeah mm-hmm. yeah so i showed one of the way by from call that we got mm-hmm. the second way is you can come here and create your own lead uh, then you can get it from web form you can create a web form like this and maybe a lead from contact us web form uh, you can select lead uh, let me add a row like important there are all the fields here so organization and name i will just keep this two for now 
first name where is first name you can add your own uh, all those other fields and you can add your own custom fields also so capture all the information that you want from the form yeah i'll just publish it so you can select maybe uh i don't know pass united pass united that works okay uh on the shall we shall area yeah <laughs> so now the lead should be visible right hmm yep so it see, is we shall lead is already here we have those details so from form you can just add your own custom fields uh and you can use that to get leads this is one more another way and from email also we have so if you see there is this settings setting to uh, uh i don't know oh sorry it's not here uh customize for lead so we have email settings so you can allow document creation by email so some if someone uh, replies on the email which is uh, then automatically this lead will be created and the data the name of that uh, person who sent that email it will be attached in the email so you can add your field that is here suppose person you can have email and first name uh, add it here name of the field and and the subject you if you want to capture the subject you can create your own custom field like subject and capture inside that so and that way also you can capture the lead we are actually capturing uh, this the three uh, the three flow as well we in our internal crm we are capturing in this three uh three ways we are capturing leads and and always you can write your own custom script so there is also one more way like uh, if someone sign up on the frappe cloud uh, a site is automatically created and based on that we are also creating lead in our crm so all those things can be done through custom scripts uh, so server scripts my yeah, passing the framework comes out of the box with rest api yeah so sorry didn't have to write an api layer or anything you use this you can create leads from any third party software yeah you want facebook go take it like you want uh, uh what do you say any other form wordpress form you can yeah just hit yeah. this uh, api to create crm, CRM lead. lead yeah that's it it will work hmm. and then you can your sales person can pick up where you left off the lead yeah but integrations are coming for example whatsapp is coming so then you can directly get leads and i think more will come follow correct so right now i got this lead from web form uh, contact us right so we can mm-hmm. have some custom field like contact uh, like source inside mm-hmm. that we can have contact us and we can just add a, a filter that source mm-hmm. is contact and add it in the public view mm-hmm. so now we all different kind of leads from coming from different uh, places will have its own view and it is easy to track like this came from contact or this came from uh, suppose app cloud so the power you can just use this views power to uh, effect, effectively work on your Uh, efficiently work on your leads nice hey botan how are you we met in dubai even i think rizwan was there hello yeah. rizwan yeah i said long time no see before the stream because yeah we were on tour and then i for editing stuff so editing the dubai boot camp i uploaded two days the third day is too long and i haven't started yet probably this month 
no definitely this month but don't expect it this week <laughs> i'm still to download and start editing <laughs> but yeah, it will come so bhavik asks is calling required to attach any api of third party app so calling as i said we have twilio and mm-hmm. so we you will have to do if you want to use twilio you will have to get a subscription for twilio and just so you can check the docs i have already added yep. the uh, i will the, so if you check the link this, yeah so i added how you can uh, integrate your twilio inside it so all the steps here so you have to add uh, those two api your site name and this to get incoming calls and to outgoing calls this two api you have to, have to integrate with the twilio and it will work some other configurations also but yeah you will get the idea so yeah kamal asks or kamal asks do we have kanban view in frappe crm no so right now that is not the priority because since i said i am working on the most important uh, features so right now the kanban task can be done through list view so i am not uh, mm-hmm. putting kanban in my priority list mm-hmm. i have the designs but i don't i have not i'm not working on that right now mm-hmm. the dead one had it <laughs> even though very naive but yeah it was <laughs> yeah. the first thing i i created But yeah. Uh, okay. What else? Eager to sh- see report and dashboard. So yeah, I think we discussed like will yeah. be integrated, but I think the bigger part of visualization etc. will lie in Frappe Insight. So maybe a template like you were, Saki was working on a templates feature, right? So maybe a template. So whenever you install CRM with Insights, you get the Insights uh, templates out of the box. Something on that lines. Yeah. uh mohammad ahmed ask i have joined late i do not know if it has been answered earlier kindly share your point of view compared to frappe crm i do not see leads prospects opportunity quotation cycle here why so maybe rewatch so you will get the context hmm. but the flow is a uh, simple uh, in this frappe crm leads deals that's it the if you yeah. want to the quotation and everything is part of erp next so If you want to do that, you can just link that through a custom action. Mm-hmm. So Banaraswala uh, Private Limited asks, can we send a quote and tag it to the deal? Um, yeah, customization form we yeah. showed, right? Yeah. So in the deal, you can add a custom field, link it to the quotation, and custom action maybe you can add that open that runs a server oh. script, and that's it. So yeah, all the customization power still remains. Uh, what is it? Yeah, Harshit asked, right? How is it loading that fast? I think he was calling you. Added some script in the backend, and then you came and refreshed, yeah. and it was instant. I think that was the part. Yeah, it's, it's instant. Fine. Like it's on traffic load as well. It's not his yeah. local. So yeah. that's the. It is. It is there. I think every new app. Works like this now. Yeah. Uh, because of snappiness. Maybe, yeah. There is caching and every caching going and on. Mm-hmm. Frappe UI also has a resource manager that I'm using. Mm-hmm. So maybe that. Yeah. Maybe let's take this question from Lee Victor. Uh, how to send bulk SMS to prospects and current clients on subscription on the system? Okay. Let's combine three questions. <laughs> so this one plus there was a question on newsletters and there was a question on campaigns. Oh, campaigns. So I've seen the campaign doc type in the CRM module. It is just a doc type, and this is linked with the opportunity. Uh, so it is not very different. Uh, so mm-hmm. maybe I will add that later uh, as a doc type in this mm-hmm. CRM. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I'll have to check and. Because I don't know the use case and how the flow will be with campaigns, so maybe mm-hmm. after researching on it, I can add that. Mm-hmm. But about newsletters, newsletters obviously 
there is no UI here, but obviously you can use it, use the frameworks newsletter feature. Or I think Hussein, you want to tell about Frappe email if you want to. I don't know. Yeah, Frappe email. So yeah, good point. So today you might have got if you have signed if you are signed up on Build with Hussein dot Dev right uh, about three hundred people are and then I was using recent like twenty dollar per month to send emails uh, and I cancelled my subscription last year. If you follow me on Twitter, you know the behind the scenes stuff. But now it is powered by Frappe Mail. It is coming. It is in development. I am the first user. <laughs> so yesterday I like made many calls to Sagar. He is the one working on it. Because I was setting up emails through Frappe Mail, and it was like easy now, like automatic. I was asleep and the emails went, and now you'll see the powered by Frappe Mail logo in the email as well. But yeah, it is coming, and I think that will have newsletters as well. Probably, it's a big project. But yeah. I think it should be the social media management can be a separate app on itself. Blogging newsletters, right? Yeah, maybe we can have a separate social media, and the campaign thing can be covered inside that also, mm. and we can just integrate that with CRM. Mm. Makes sense. Ah, uh, so Matthew asks, can we record a voice clip and send it? I think in the no, no, um, mm-hmm. there's no. Voice recorder. Yeah, you can record, attach. Record a call, but that is different thing. No, no, voice clip as in they can atta- record on their phone, yeah, create an file. MP3 and attach file. Yeah, you file. can attach your file that is yeah, in yeah. email. Right? Yeah, yeah, in email or comments. Mm, what is what else? What else? Any questions? Uh, two, two, two. Yeah, let's take uh, yeah permissions. So, how are user permissions managed, especially when we have sales team assigned to distinct regions or territories? Okay. So, so there is not there is not a like permission thing I've not worked on for the CRM purpose. The thing that we have in framework, we can reuse that. Uh, so like. If you want to make some uh, some feed like this feed, uh, the read only for some user, you can add a perm level of one on that feed and restrict that field for that user based on the permissions of our framework permission. You you know what the role permission manager. So oh, so framework just, permissions work. Yeah, yeah, it will work. So all those things will work. You will see the. Uh, records based on the framework's permission, whatever. Yeah, it is just a doc time, and this is just a UI for that uh, CRM. So whatever CRM lead, if you can apply the permissions here, those permissions will be applied here also. Nice. So the next question, Botan says, so can we uh, we can aggregate all these change requests from this group and make PR on GitHub? I assume you are uh, talking about issues. Yeah, go ahead, create issues. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on GitHub, feel free to create feature requests and or bugs. And then we have okay, Nitin asks while testing, what was the max count of leads tried? Okay. I think this uh, is related to stress testing. No, we have not done that. Maybe uh, in our in our internal CRM, we do get a lot of leads, but uh, not that many. But I don't know. We have not tested that. So I think uh, Nitin is talking about concurrent lead creation. Probably. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to test that. It should work. If frameworks yeah. can framework can handle it, then yeah, CRM can handle it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you ass- face an issue, do raise a. Yeah. The reassign rule. Issue. Yeah, you can use assignment rule to do the same thing. with Framework assignment rule. Mm-hmm. I think I've not covered that, but yeah, you can use this to mm-hmm. do assignments. 
Mm-hmm. It will just work. Yeah, and in terms of that uh, other part, like after ten days, I will get assigned new leads, etc. That can be done through schedule scripts, I guess. Yeah, schedule yeah. server scripts. Correct. Yep. Uh, Tarek Tarek asks, "Can you show us the pipeline in the deal?" Hmm. Pipeline. Uh, I think you are talking about the statuses. Or I don't know. Maybe. You can, can you elaborate? What is pipeline? Accounting software. Uh, I think you are talking about ERP next one. Yes. This is Frappe app, so you can uh, integrate with Frappe, other Frappe apps. So if you want to integrate through APIs, you can always use REST APIs to do that. But yeah, you can. So I think one thing is covered. Panel view. So I think you're talking about the uh, charts. Funnel chart, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Right now, it is not there. But uh, maybe we can uh, do it from when we will add the dashboard, which will come from Frappe uh, Insights. Mm -hmm. Then we can have that. Yep. If you want to elaborate on the pipeline and funnel thing, you can add a feature request on the GitHub. There mm-hmm. I can analyze what you're trying to say you need. Mm-hmm. And if it is feasible, I will uh, add it as a feature. Yeah, uh, you can elaborate your use case. So always like use case driven development is much more powerful I've seen in my opinion. Yeah. Right. So yeah. On a side note, I have paused uh, the Hazel node and let's learn the ERP next series till after Eid. So we'll do after 12th. That will resume after 12th. So they are not uh, stopped, but they are paused. So don't worry. Mm, cool. So yeah, I think we covered everything. Uh, and it was a 1.5 hour session. That's nice. Yeah. So thanks everyone for joining in and do star the Frappe CRM GitHub repository and uh, you can either use the sign up link. I think it has a 15 day free trial. 14 day. 14 day. Yeah. Two weeks. So give it a try and uh, you can always self host if you want. That's there. And uh, yeah check out other frappe world stuff as well uh, i think tarek replied the stages of a deal in crm system represent the journey a potential customer takes okay uh raise a good issue so about that i just uh, yeah. so yeah so you're talking about the stages these are the stages and you mm-hmm. can add your own custom pages, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I'm also tracking those pages when someone 
changes from this to this. I'm also yeah. tracking that. You can yeah. check it on the desk here in the logs. So someone changed from qualification to in progress. You'll find the date from when to when. And based on this, you can create your own reports. So yeah, I'm tracking that also. So if you're talking about this use case, then yeah, this is that. Cool. Yeah. So we are good to go, I guess. So bye everyone. And uh, thanks Sharik for joining and launching. Prap CRM, thanks. good luck. Now you have a lot of more stuff to work on. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. the saying goes, right? Reward for good work is more work. work. Cool. cool. So, yeah. Cool, cool. Thanks. Thanks everyone um, for joining in. And bye. Have a nice day. We'll see bye. you in the next stream. Goodbye.